Hey guys, it's Lizzie. Uh, today I wanted to do a video talking about how the people around me, such as my friends and family, how they deal with knowing someone who has dermatillomania, which is this girl right here. And we'll start off saying that all of my immediate family know about this. My This includes my sister, my mom, and my dad. I really couldn't tell you if my parents or my grandparents know. I, I don't really know. I don't think I ever told them, but we have, like, whenever I was talking to my parents with them around, we have brought up the conversation about my acne, and I, pr I'm i pretty sure I have told them that I pick it, but I really haven't gone into detail. I honestly don't think they'll understand if I told them. But my dad, my mom, and my sister out of my family, they're the ones who know about this picking. My dad, he is definitely the most supportive person, and I'm so thankful that he is, because even though he doesn't suffer from this, he is so understanding and so willing to like try to put himself in my shoes. So he's always really been there for me from the skin picking, from the therapies, and getting all the medications, and whatever I need, he wants me to be healthy and be happy. So he's definitely been a humongous support. Like honestly, if he didn't help me through this, I don't know what I would do. Because my mom, on the other hand, she kind of acts like she's supportive and I really do give her credit for that. But I know that she really can't understand my mom. She, my mom has a lot of insecurities herself. So I guess it's hard for her to look at my insecurities and tell me that they're okay because she isn't okay with her own. So my dad on the other hand is more confident and he can definitely tell me that everything's going to be okay and he can he can help me more along with my insecurities because he really doesn't have many. Um, so that's probably a reason why I pick is my insecurities. I definitely get that from my mother. She is just the type of person that is always, I guess, nervous that people are going to judge her. And that's 100% me. I'm so anxious every day for many reasons. Most of them are social reasons. And that's probably a reason why I pick. But my sister, she, she does talk a lot with me and my dad about this. Whenever she comes home from college or anything, well, she'll ask me like how my skin's been and how my medication's been working and if I'm going to therapy still and stuff like that. She'll ask me how it's all going. Once again, she's more of the confident type personality, I guess. She's She does have some insecurities, which I'm pretty sure everyone has insecurities, but she... She's never been, been really, like, had anxiety or anything like that, so she is on the more understanding side also, which I really appreciate. My friends, on the other hand, they really, really have no idea what it's like. They try to sympathize with me, and they'll kind of say, like, oh, yeah, when I get a pimple, sometimes I'll squeeze it and my parents will get really mad and say that it's gonna scar and whatnot. Here I am like, okay, I have about a hundred of those and I know they're already scarred. Awkward. But, I mean, they try to help. They really do. It's just they really can't understand. And especially because they don't know me on like that super, super personal level like my family does. So it's hard for them, I guess, to even imagine, you know, one of their high school friends to have some type of disorder. Um, my friend, one of my friends actually just found out that I had dermatillomania a couple days ago. And I had thought I told her, but we had a project due for my psychology class. And it was to write an explanation for whatever area of psychology that we want to specialize in. And I ultimately decided to specialize in social psychology, 
but I was choosing between social and cognitive and cognitive really plays a big role in my life just because um, I really think the conscious mind is overlooked so many times. I think it's really, really important and we need to listen to the conscious mind a little bit more. But I told in my explanation that I have gone to cognitive behavioral therapy for my OCD disorder. My friend read this paper that I wrote about this. She looked at me, she's like, what, you have OCD? And I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I pick my skin really bad. And we had talked about skin picking before at school with a bigger group. And I don't know, we kind of all laughed about it. I tried to, I guess, fit in with it more. She's like, oh yeah, I pick my skin too. So I guess she really didn't realize to the full extent that it was compulsive. Here I go picking my arm right now. I don't, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. One of my problems is fidgeting too. Oh my gosh, I fidget a lot. But, so yeah, she just found out pretty recently, which is crazy. Other friends, like one of the friends that I'm closest to right now, um, she really doesn't, we never talk about skin picking. I mean, that really, none of our problems really ever come up in any of our conversations. We never talk about our problems. We're just more of like living in the moment type people, which... Sometimes you need that in life. Sometimes you need that. And I don't have a boyfriend, so um, I don't talk about anything with an imaginary boyfriend. So, yeah. But if I did have one, for the, those of you that do have a boyfriend or if you are a boy, whatever. Maybe you have a girlfriend or, you know, whatever. Um, if you do... Tell them, tell that person that you have this disorder. Try to be really genuine with it. Don't hold back things. I think if you try and make it sound like it's not a big deal and it's really, really affecting you, at some point you're going to just break down and they're going to wonder why. They're going to think that it's their fault, their fault. And you'll be over here like, no, like this is one of those things that I've suffered for so long. But they don't know that. So just be really honest and open with them. If I had a boyfriend, I would probably tell him my whole life story just because I think honesty is like the biggest thing ever. And I would want him to know my background so he wouldn't think that anything would be his fault if I would get really, really upset one day or just stressed out or frustrated with myself because that happens on almost a daily basis. I tend to get really, if I pick, you know, if I picked yesterday, which I did, today I tend to get really, really mad because in the morning when I'm doing my makeup, I'm like, oh my god, like, this whole side of my face is like craters and it's bright red and it's just really frustrating. So, yes, if you do have the significant other in your life, just tell them straight up. Don't be nervous to tell them that. After all, they really should love you for who you are and accept you for who you are. If they don't, then maybe you're not dating them for the right reasons. But that's besides the point. Just find friends that can at least support you, even if they don't know exactly what you're going through with dermatillomania. And I know that a lot of people's parents might completely overlook this disorder. They might completely disagree that it's even a disorder or anything like that. So if you do have those types of parents, I'm here for you. I really am. I have a really strong passion for, I guess, any type of compulsive disorder or any type of anxiety or anything like that. I guess it's because I have it that I have such a strong compassion for it. So if anyone is stuck and they feel like they don't have anyone to talk to or you know, whatever the situation may be, I'm here for you. I would love to respond to silly comments that say, wish me luck. Like, I will totally wish you luck. Or if it's personal messages that you really want to talk or vent something out and you really can't voice that to your parents, seriously, like, come talk to me. I would love to interact with you and try to help you out because I know that if I didn't have 
the supportive parents that I do have, I would definitely want the same from another person. I probably rambled so much in this video and I'm so sorry, but that's really all I have to say. So I will have another video up pretty soon. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great night and I hope this video helps. Bye.